This is a fascinating defense that I saw in the semifinal playoff game, LSU and Oklahoma. Dave Aranda, the defensive coordinator for LSU, is a creative guy, and he's running what looks like a 1-3, but with a 4-1 alignment. It's pass defense, obviously. Four receivers uh, spread for Oklahoma. The only defensive lineman is where this arrow is, Lawrence. He's the defensive end right down here. As you can see, this guy, number three, that's uh, Jacob e. Stevens, their free safety, but he's been up on the line already and early in the game, but he's right up in here. This guy who's turned around getting a signal is Damone Clark, one of the outside linebackers, and he's up on the line. And then the other guy up on the line, you can't see his number too well, but it's number nine, Marcel Brooks, a freshman safety. Pretty big guy, but they had another freshman starting, actually, named Maurice Hampton, who's um, also a big safety, but he was off the field for the passing down. So this guy comes in, uh, Brooks, and he gets up on the line. So you have two safeties up on the line here. You have a linebacker there getting a signal. You have one defensive end right here. Right in here is their uh, top speedy linebacker, Queen. Uh, he's right in Derek Queen or whatever, Patrick Queen, I forget his name. But he's right here. And then right here is their big-time player, uh, Cezanne. Uh, he's already made it one play right off the start in the, in the beginning of the game. So you have the three linebackers, one here, one here, and one here, all speedy guys. But one's on the line, one's in the middle here, one's out. So they all seem like they don't know what they're doing. They're looking at the sideline. I wouldn't know what I was doing if I was in this defense either. Anyway, so you have one lineman there. you got two safeties around the line of scrimmage. Then you have uh, five more defensive backs, one deep safety. So that's a total of three safeties, two on the line of scrimmage, one really deep, and then four cornerbacks. The two starters, uh, Stingley right here, who's the, the top freshman defensive back coming out of high school this year. Then, an, then their top guy, uh, Fulton, right here, Christian Fulton. And then you have the two um, nickel and dime safe uh, cornerbacks, uh, their regular slot back, Kerry Vincent, who's a good player. And then another true freshman uh, named uh, Flott, Cordell Flott who isn't that high of a recruit, actually, but he's he's very small. He's only 150 coming out of high school. You can see him here. He looks small still, but he obviously has done a great job because he's in the, in this unit here. So here you go. So you have four cornerbacks, three safeties, one deep safety, one up on, on the line, or two on the line, and then three linebackers, one on the line, two back here, and a defensive end. So by position, it's a 1-3, 7, 1-3, 7, by the lineman, it looks more, it's more like a 4-1 or a 4-2 with one of the guys out. So, and if you let the play run, look at this. Total mass confusion, basically. Um, you had, uh, these guys were starting to pull. These guys were pulling back in pass protection. So, I think right here, um, Hurd is trying to get a, a run thing going because he can see a bunch of light guys up here, defensive backs. So I think he's, but the, but the lineman really didn't get it. So it was total miscommunication early in the game. So as you can see, two guys, the left, guard, the right guard and center pulling out the pass block. These guys are pulling around. This guy's jumping out like this, total confusion. So these guys up here who could have got blown out of the water because they're so light, two of them are safeties. They end up getting in there, no problem. Look at this mess. So and then the linebacker gets it. So again, I'm not sure what Aranda's trying to do there. I mean, I do think if you had communication, the line would have just blown those guys off the ball. It is 17 yards. They're probably not going to get that, but just interesting. Interesting call. I mean, I'm not against putting all those defensive backs on the field in that third and 17. I'm just curious why you have them on the line of scrimmage. I don't know. I'm not sure what the deal was, but interesting stuff from Dave Aranda.